Hello, hello, hello. I'm sure you're all familiar with the fact that light is a duality between particles, which we call photons, and waves. If you want to explain interference patterns, two-slit interference, one-slit interference, or if you have gradings, all forms of diffraction, you can perfectly explain by assuming that they are waves. They really behave like waves. Now, if you want to explain photoelectric effect, you can only do that if you assume that light are photons. Now comes the issue of this problem. When light changes from one medium to another, for instance, it goes from water to air. Then it changes the index of refraction, which is in water about 1.3, 3.5, 1.3.5. .3 but outside, in the air, it's 1. And so, as it emerges in air, its speed increases by about 35%. And the reverse is also true. When it goes from air into water, its speed decreases by about 35%. So now comes the question. When its speed changes, does its energy change? And if the answer is yes, if your answer is yes, then please tell me where the energy comes from when it goes from water into air, when its speed goes up by about 35%. So two questions. The first one is, does the energy change, and if so, if it increases the energy, where does the energy come from? All right, have a nice day, take care, and I can't wait for your answers, because we are now borderlining quantum mechanics. It's very non-intuitive, but very intriguing. <laughs>